better and worse. I thought we played a lot better than we've been playing. I thought if we played that well in the last couple games, we would have won a couple of the three. Um, but like all young teams, you're going to have to learn. We had that eight, nine point lead, whatever it was in the first half. And if anybody wants to know why I subbed, we had everybody in foul trouble. And MVD just does not, um, gives me everything he's got. He had a steal. He did everything he can. But they really went to work in the post on, on that. It hurt us, and uh, you know Nick got in foul trouble and just didn't uh, do the things he needs to do. And uh, we thought we could go to him in the post. They did a decent job doubling him, and we did a poor job in executing what we wanted to. I thought we ran some great stuff. We scored on it. We, you know, Miles. It's a shame had an incredible, efficient game, and. Uh, and yet we didn't have enough other guys that played well. They get six guys in double figures. And the foul thing is sickening. I mean, it just sickening. I, I, I can't you know, give them a lot of credit on a lot of things they did. But displacement's displacement in that post. And I, that really bothered me. So that was the only negative I have for people. Other than that, they all played us. Biggie was great. Did a nice job. Um, Miles was great and did a hell of a job. And, I thought the game was kind of lost on that eight or nine point lead when we uh, we just had no players left. So whatever questions you got, I'll answer. Tom, is this a game where you see you saw some of your high end potential, but also some of the shortcomings? Yeah, that yeah you, it's you a good way to, to overcome. Very good way to put it. High end potential. I thought we played damn good in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, defensively, even um, you know some disappointing things. You know, Aaron struggled and gave up three threes that he shouldn't have gave up. And we told Nick that, you know, we're going to give Schwanigan a shot, but we're not going to give him a ready shoot shot. And he's been playing him at the free throw line like Shaquille O'Neal. And, uh, but, you know, the first half it was the subbing of, um, we just had no bodies left. In the second half, we cut it to four and we, they miss a shot and they get a rebound, kick it out for a three and then get in the corner and kick it out, you know. Just a couple of mistakes by Josh, you know, and so they capitalized on the mistakes. We didn't. Crowd was awesome. Uh, players played a lot harder. Um, I do think there's a lot potential there. Um, as far now, I hate that word. I thought there were good enough players on our team that uh, played hard enough, and I thought there was a couple of players on our team that played hard enough, but not smart enough or good enough. And uh, can't do that against a good team. And there's no question, Purdue's one of the better teams, uh, I think, around, uh, especially with those guys inside and just about impossible to cover at times. Tom, with Miles, did you see another level even from him where he almost tried to Well, it's, you know, it's one of those things that I see a lot of things in Miles, and I tried to explain it, you know, and, and it's, you know, people jump off bandwagons and on bandwagons, but, you know, this was the first time I saw Miles not huffing and puffing. You know, he looked like he's about 90% back to the guy that was there before, and he's starting to feel comfortable. You know, as we said, you see him do things in full-length court drives and that. You know, he's capable of doing that. But, you know, for a couple of weeks, he was trying to his, – his brain was telling his body what to do, and his body told him to go to hell. So he wasn't uh, – you know, he wasn't there, but – the last guy on my team I'm worried about is Miles Bridges. He's not overrated. He's not this. He's one of the more special players I've ever had because uh, he's learning how to compete. Um, he's learning how to be maybe as versatile as as anybody when, you know, I think he's got to do a better job posting up, and I just told him that because he can score in a lot, that, that right-hand jump hook. Uh, he's just got a lot of ways he can score. He's got to get to the line more, and he's – Got to pound those offensive boards a little more, but Miles Bridges will be a special player here, and uh, it's sad that he has a night like that, and we don't win the game. Coaching. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we, we I talked to you guys the other day about a couple of things, and, you know, like points in the paint was 30 to 26 us. You know, the points off turnovers, which has been the biggest nemesis of our year, you know, it was 18-17 them, and, uh, and, and it did happen. Josh turned it over, went down, gave up a three. You know, we, we've got to learn how to let a play go and come back. But this, this time, the second chance points got us. 
and you know, a lot of them were in that stretch when we had a tired Miles and MVD in there. We had MVD and Kenny in there um, against that team. It just wasn't a good, you know, that's one of those tough matchups for us. Uh, you were going to run into those kind of things. Uh, probably one of the worst teams we could play, you know. And yet, we did enough good things. I really struggle with the displacement rule in the in the lane. You know, I I, I don't know how that's going to be called or how it should be, but I didn't I didn't like that. You know, I, I think displacement is displacement. Coach, you had great execution, especially early on. The timeout coming out of that around the six minute mark, second half, there was some disagreement between Harris and Ward. What happened there? Well, Nick. He just didn't run what we needed run, and uh, you know it's you got a lot of guys in there that don't have any experience. You can't just it's hard to diagram something, and you want to run something because of the way they were covering it. They were switching, so we we had a play set and kind of ran it wrong, and uh, you know that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Players start getting after each other a little bit is a good thing, and uh, but that's that was no big deal. It was just uh, you know we're getting a little more at Aaron, but he didn't you know defensively he's got to accept that he's got to be our stopper on the perimeter, and we give up some things that we didn't give up. We we said we were going to dig on to the big guy, but we weren't going to dig on to Edwards, and gave up a three early on that. You know just things that you can't do. Uh, we felt like at halftime there were 16 points. You know, MVD had a layup, and he kicked two out, and both were turnovers for layups. You, you can't do that against a good team uh, in our situation, but we, we were really stuck in that stretch. I couldn't take the chance of getting one of those bigs a third foul. Um, just couldn't do it. So I made the choice. I should be the one criticized for it. Coach, you rotated a lot of guys through on Swan again tonight, kind of out of necessity. Um, what kind of conversations did you have with the team going into this week about how to defend him? Well, we wanted to try to force him out a little bit, and uh, does a good job of pushing and getting you inside. And you know, again, I think some of it is he's really good, and I think some of it there's displacement in there, and I, I just don't understand the rule. Um, to me, if we hit their guy and he goes out, that's displacement. If he hits our guy and he goes in, that's displacement. If they stay the same, it's not. So you, you, you know, we're not going to cover. A 7-2 guy with a 6-5 walk on and, and, and get anything out of it, you know, and Van Dyke did everything he could. Um, in Schwanigan's case, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have put Miles on him more. I thought he did a decent job. Um, but Miles had to do everything else, so uh, I think that was good. And, and, you know, when Nick got in foul trouble, it, it, it made it worse. We thought we could go in on him. And uh, instead of posting deep, he posted too far out. They doubled him. He had a couple turnovers. Those are freshman mistakes that we're going to have to get better at. Tom, 12-9 on the season now. The fan base, you said earlier this week. I don't care about the fan base. Understandable, but okay. your team is in a, in a situation where when do you start to – you, you keep talking enthusiastically. They're, they're getting better and whatnot, but the record's maybe not showcasing Well, you know the that. good thing about me? Yeah. I've never BS'd one in my whole 22 years. So if I say that, the good thing is – you. You know it's the truth. Because if I say they're not playing good, I tell you just like it is. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. This is one time when, I mean, we played good enough. You know, I thought we got the short end of a couple of calls. And I thought that made a difference, and we just don't have the bodies. So I'm not worried about anything but, but the next game. And I'm not worried about them until I get done with tonight and tomorrow. And when I break down my game, I'm going to worry about the next game. It's not coach speak. It's not anything else. Um, you know, if, if people want to complain, I, I don't care. I really don't. I know what I'm doing. I know what this team is doing. I know what they're going through. I know what they're going through. And nobody knows what they're going through because nobody's had to do it. So um, I've been here before, too. Been here before and got, got to the tournament. So... Um, do I sit here and every day think, you know, um, boy, this is going to cost us getting to the tournament? I don't do that. I, I really don't. Um, I've had to win three games in the Big Ten tournament to get there and done it. So 
Uh, do I like where we are? I don't like where we are. Do I understand where we are? I do understand where we are. Am I going to worry about what somebody says that has no clue, no clue what this team has gone through and what we're doing? I'm not going to worry about that. I, I feel their disappointment. Um, you know what? They got to be disappointed. And nobody should have been disappointed in the effort those young guys gave tonight. Nobody should have disappointed that I, you know, had to throw some guys in there that just probably aren't ready to play, aren't good enough to play in those situations. Um, I got no problem with that. So that's not insulting to our fans. Uh, I thought the fans that were there did a great job. If, if some are at the local pubs and are complaining, that's their freedom of speech. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great country, freedom of speech. Tom, uh, to use one of your terms, what's your level of concern of a lack of a Robin for your Batman and Miles Bridges? Well, you know, it's it's there, but, you know, the problem is we're just getting Batman back. And so it, it's it's really hard when you're moving all these guys around and you're expecting them to do this and you got to run a play for him and you got to run a play for him. And, you know, it's a, it's a little more difficult. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get a Robin. I mean, I think Aaron has been playing better. Um, started out great tonight and didn't uh, do as good a job, even missed his first free throw. And I thought the disappointing thing for me and our guys, other than McQuaid, no, no, none of our guards rebounded very good. And, and that's what we said we had to do. We had to just battle the bigs and have our guards come and clean it up. We didn't do a very good job of that. So, uh, you know, Josh Langford's got to do a better, better. He didn't get one rebound. He's got to do a better job, you know, but he's been playing pretty well. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be. And uh, we're going to learn. Or Nick's going to learn from tonight. He got posted up tonight. Um, but, you know, a year ago, they weren't doing that either. So we're gonna, we'll get better at it. What does this game say about your big guys? We stay out of foul trouble. Um, and, and did you use plural? <laughs> um, you know, I, it, it told me a lot about Nick. And, uh, you know, Kenny, uh, if it, I, think, I think we will get back, though, because I think Kenny broke his nose. So that'll bring us back to, you know, we can wear masks. I mean, when, when, uh, when uh, Peterson wore his cast, he was tougher. When, when Kenny had his broken nose last year, he, unbelievable. Second half against Louisville, uh, as I said, you know, these things are all going to make us stronger and tougher. I mean, I mean, we went against two of the best big men in the country. And we really did. I mean, it's it's hard to cover both of them. And then they come in with a four man who can shoot. And so you're always mixing coverages. But, uh, you know, I thought Nick held his own in some ways. And then when he got in foul trouble and then when he got the ball stolen, you know, he just got frustrated and, uh, and then kind of lost some uh, focus. And uh, that happens. It's going to happen. Beyond just a number two, are you able to use a kind of an elite performance like this from Miles as kind of a challenge to everyone to, to, to elevate? Uh, you know, it'd be interesting. I, 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 it'd be interesting when Miles talks to you. You know, Miles, Miles wasn't very happy after the game. And um, I just learn more about this kid every day. And, uh, you know, what I learn about him, I love more about him. I, you know, he's. Did you tell me that was a freshman record? And uh, he could care less. <laughs> I mean, he really could. It's not for show. It's not for you. It's not for me. Um, unique kid. But what Miles has to do now is he has to take on some leadership that we don't have. And your best players, he's capable of doing that. So I'm going to throw more on his plate. Miles is going to be one tired dude when this year is over because I'm going to keep throwing stuff at his plate because I think he can handle it. And... Uh, and I think he wants that. And so uh, it was a shame. I mean, he, he was so efficient tonight. He did so many good things. And that is a very good basketball team um, that plays very well, very well coached. And, uh, you know, we had our chances, and we just didn't do enough things to – you can't make those – you know, the, the, I think the as a parent or as a coach, um, the my bad – phrase you know if i could stick that somewhere um i'd stick it there i i just hate the my bad because when you when you hear it it means you're hearing it over and over again 
And sooner or later, you got to figure out, I can't make the same mistake. And we did on some things. But on other things, as you said, we executed very well. We ran some big plays to get open shots. We got the ball to our hot guy. Um, we got the ball into the post. And if Nick would have stayed down in there, I think we could have done some things there. Um, but our youth showed, too. You know, uh, you know, Josh has he's just a better player than that, not to get a rebound. You know, he's... He just can't do that. We got we got, we got to be better than that. The turnovers were decent, and of you know of all the things, Nick has three. Just getting the ball doubled, and and Van Dyke, who never has a turnover, had two. One of them, he had a layup. You know, and um, asked a lot of that kid tonight. I don't even know how many minutes he played. It wasn't as many, but it was in a couple of critical times, and and. Uh, just disappointing. It was disappointing because of the way we played. I thought we deserved more than that. But give them credit, man. They they were relentless at the free throw line. I think it seemed like they shot a thousand. It was only twenty four. It sure seemed like a lot more than that.